Hmm. Morning. What a fantastic way to spend the night, eh? I love the sounds of the bush. All the animals singing away. A little bit of rain cover down on the tent. Just a little pitter patter. Not a big flood. Yeah. I think it's nearly time to get up and have a cuppa. Bloody beautiful morning. Yeah. Nice yeah. and sunny. Don't because there's that division of labour and he's commenting on how good it is that you don't have to work together on this boat because <laughs> you've got independent drives. You don't have to coordinate like you do on a canoe or a kayak. Oh, yeah. you're moving. Uh -huh. It's alright mate, we won't get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't ask for better. Better way to start the day. Be nice to have some wind though. Beautiful day. Look at that. Yeah. 15 steps to the muddy river. <laughs> yeah, river's pretty muddy. <laughs> Idyllic morning on the Murray. How's it going there, Alex? Yeah, good man, good. Cover up. The sun's coming out. Mm, we had a little bit of wind, but. Yeah, uh... we'll have more today. <laughs> The river is aren't the best for sailing. <laughs> <laughs> River's nice and high. If we can't sail, we'll just pedal. Beautiful. Yeah. We finally got a bit of wind. <laughs> <laughs> Paddling away all morning, but uh, a little bit of wind come in. It's pretty dirty, but at least we're moving. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, so Keith's in charge, <clears throat> having a go at sailing. Moving along nicely at the moment. It's very tricky sailing down rivers because the air constantly gets funneled and changes direction. You get a lot of turbulence, so it's always constant adjustments adjustments on the sail. But he's doing good. Sailing along like this is just magic. So relaxing, especially when someone else is doing all the thinking. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we've had to furl the sail a bit because this wind's getting a bit rough. Getting really gusty, so I don't want to flip the boat. Pull her in tighter. See, it's flapping. They're yeah, very gusty, the wind at the moment. The spine board provided by Derek Ost is proving to be a perfect gear rack. Kevin's repair on the pontoon's working like a charm. Not a drop of water in there. All right, coming into coming into Loxton. We're gonna. It's around lunchtime on day two, so we might pull in here and. Uh, have a bit of a feed. It's been fantastic this morning. Wind's been uh, all over the place. We had like big, big strong winds blowing through the trees and nothing down at river level. And then other times strong gusts coming through. Keith's been getting lots of sailing practice. So I pulled into Loxton for some lunch. We were gonna tie up to this pontoon, but uh, glad we didn't. <laughs> no way to get off it. River's really high. Do you want my phone? <laughs> I uh, don't do that. Did you wreck one? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Look at that can opener of a bee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. She knows, don't you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Grabbed a nice lunch at the country bakehouse. Uh, Keith bought himself a hat with no drawstring. Not very good for sailing. And off we go. We're making really good time. So 
we're just tacking our way upstream past Loxton. Um, I've had to fell the sail in a fair bit. This area is really dirty. So yeah, it's uh, like so gusty that I um, nearly tipped the boat over a few times. It's really pushed, uh, pushed that pontoon right underwater. Yeah, so sometimes the wind drops off pretty light and then it just cranks up and gets really horrible. Tacking. He's got a new hat, matches his ski jacket. Looking good, bro. I think we got headwinds uh, for the rest of the day today. Yep, there we go, the pontoon just went underwater there. Gusts coming in. I wouldn't want much more sail than this out at the moment. Unfortunately, because the wind goes up and down a lot, it really slows us down. But you know, it's just what you gotta do with the air's dirty, tacking. So I think it's gonna be a very tiring afternoon. And then we'll probably be in for the same thing tomorrow. A bit lighter though, I don't think it's gonna be as gusty as this, but I think we're gonna have headwinds all day. Okay, tacking. Rudder seems to be behaving itself reasonably well. Got a lot of birds coming and flying along with us, which is nice. Beautiful wildlife. Seen more birds on this trip than I have in a long time. Tacking. Got to be careful with my tacks because the current's behind us. Yeah, you can drift into things really easily. Oh, we're okay at the moment. Ah, lost it. <laughs> Should we go get it? Won't be easy. Okay, hold the sail in. Alright, see if you can spot it. It'll drift with the current at least. You got it? Okay. I can't see it yet. Keep pointing at it. Hats without ties don't last, Daddy. I've got it on video. <laughs> Sacrifice for people's entertainment. It'll drift with the water, but it'll sink. There's something in front of us there in the water. That's a bark. That yeah, was such a nice looking hat. Uh, with sailing, you have to have a tie, or you'll lose it every time. Especially when you're running upwind got the wind speed plus the speed of the boat. There. Buddy, wind and hats don't mix too well. Poor Keith, guess it's sunscreen time now. So we're just um, pulled in close to the shoreline, the wind's broken here. We're making really good progress along here just under pedal power. Uh, a lot better than we are trying to tackle up this uh, very gusty wind. Probably be sailing for another I reckon we'll do another 45 minutes and then we'll pull in and pitch tent. Okay, pulling into a little campsite thing that we've spotted. Looks like a little marina thing. Just trying to cut across the current. Yeah, that looks really good, eh? Straighten up as we come out of the current. Bend off that tree, please. Good job, good job. Um, might back up and just go round it. Way! Good, good save. <laughs> Thank God for the mast. You're putting on a treat for the YouTube viewers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Pull and pull and pull. Nice spot. Look at that. <laughs> so how many k's do you reckon we did today? So at Berry it was 26 and there we just passed 76, that's 40 k's. So yeah, 50, uh, 40 k's. 40 k's today? Yeah. Not bad considering we we're bashing up wind a fair portion of it. Mm. Nice work. All right Kev, two days of sailing. <coughs> Let's see if she holds water. 
see if she's dry inside or not. Ooh, there is a little bit in there. I don't think it's much though. So it leaks slightly, slightly, not much though. It's definitely acceptable. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. This is the sleeping roll I use. I just strap it onto a tub located in the back of the kayak and that's where it sits. It's working really well. It stayed bone dry inside. The roll is wrapped in a tarp, which I folded in a way that water can't get into it. And uh, the tarp can double as a rain fly if we happen to camp out in bad weather. Haven't had to use it as that yet. You can see the folds that I use here. It's basically folded so all the open sections are just at one end of the roll and then when it gets wrapped around there's no way the water can actually get up into the sleeping roll itself the inner roll is my tent with everything else wrapped inside it the straps i'm using to bundle everything up are yoga straps very handy okay sleeping roll with everything in it that i need I like to sleep on a stretcher, I find it more comfortable than anything else, especially with my dodgy back. So this stretcher breaks down really small, it just has a set of poles and springs that you use to put it together. Love my stretcher. lay it out like so grab your legs one goes in there so no one pulls in goes in here need a bit of strength to do this yeah. one stretcher to set up I think the mozzies are going to be bad here not enough wind to keep my way. Frickin' mozzies. The stretcher keeps you really cool because air passes underneath it. It's so great for hot weather, but if it gets cold, you put a piece of foam on it and then it's really warm. He's got the fire going already. Nice. <clears throat> I use a sleeping bag and bivy bag combination. I can slip the sleeping bag into the bivy bag if I want to stay really warm. I not need the bivy bag. it be a pillow. On hot nights, I can just sleep in the bivy bag and have a mozzie net and stay on top of my stretcher and not worry about the tent at all. Really simple setup. Seems to be working great. Another fantastic place to spend the night. We're both a bit tired after bashing up wind all afternoon. Uh, it was really good having a second sailor aboard to take up some of the load. Otherwise, I would have been totally exhausted. Uh, Keith did a really nice cook-up. Bunch of veggies, bok choy, carrot, potato, onion. I contributed a hot tin of baked beans. Uh, made a pretty nice, healthy dinner. There's been no river traffic at all. We've seen one boat in two days on the water, and that's it. So very, very quiet out here. Just lots of nature, lots of animals. About 30 k's to go. See you tomorrow.